So let's use the slope song to solve a slope problem. So on the left, we have our slope song, uh, at least half of it. If you haven't seen the video, I'll have the card right here so you could check that out. And on the right, we have one of the scenarios that you could encounter when you're dealing with slope. And that is to find the slope when you're given two points, 3, 5, and 5, 8. For the sake of this problem, we'll refer to 3, 5 as point A and 5, 8 as point B. So these are the two points that we have. So let's refresh our memory of what slope is. So as the song states, average rate of change is also called slope. Slope is the same thing as the average rate of change between two points. And it, it can also be represented as a straight line that is drawn between two points. So let's demonstrate this. So first, let's graph point A, which is 3, 5. So let's find where 3 is on the x-axis and where 5 is on the y-axis and graph this point right here. And then this is point A. And then point B is 5, 8, which let's find 5 on the x-axis and 8 on the y-axis. So it is right here. So this is point B. So now we draw the line between these two points. We have this straight line right here is a slope between points A and B that we have right here. So now how do we actually calculate the slope between these two points? So what the song states is to calculate it, what you do next is to take the change in Y and you divide it by the change in X. What is change in Y and change in X? These words that we see in the song. So what change in Y is, is what do I have to do to the Y value of point A to get it to what the Y value of point B is? So the distance in which you have to change it to get to where point B is, that is a change in Y, which can be written as delta Y. And likewise, for a change in X, what do I have to do to the X value of point A to get it to where the X value of point B is? This distance right here between those X values is the change in X, or represented as delta X. So now let's find the change in Y from points A to B. So in point A, the y value is 5 and in point b the y value is 8. so the change in y what do you have to do to get from 5 to 8 you have to do plus 3. so plus 3 is a change in y from points a to b so this is the change in y so now let's find and now next you have to divide it by the change in x what is the change in x from point a to point b so in point a the x value is 3 and then in point B, the x value is 5. So what do you have to do to get from 3 to 5? You have to add 2. So the change in x from points A to B is plus 2. So then now you have the change in y, which is plus 3, and then you divide it by the change in x, which is plus 2, and you get the slope, which is 3 halves for this particular scenario.